No movie review this week as I'm putting extra work on one of the final two tickets for this season. Considering what has been going on with the world pandemic, this was inevitable. And it's the same story for Wonder Woman 1984 and Top Gun Maverick. Wonder Woman has been pushed back to August while Top Gun 2 has been moved back to December. The first standalone Batman movie has been rescheduled to the beginning of October as opposed to its original date of June 25, 2021. Not knowing a more definitive date of when it will be safe for movie studios to resume production on their upcoming projects, it just makes sense for the safety and well-being of the cast and crew to have these productions postponed. But the flip side to this is that the studios can have more time to refine the editing for these projects so that editing and pacing is more fluid and consistent. Those that remember 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man during the subway car scene, there were flashes of a black screen in between edits that became jarring for both fans and critics. So with Wonder Woman 84 and Maverick having more time afforded to them will be an asset in presenting these sequels in a manner that the audience will appreciate and more. At the moment, June 11, 2021 still remains the date in which the third Jurassic World movie, also being the sixth in the franchise, will release. The lockdown around the world has affected anything and everything from restaurants, retail establishments from HMV, game and clothing stores. Movie studios, of course, were no exception to this, and the production of Jurassic World 3 halted just after two weeks. As to how much footage was recorded before the lockdown is unclear. Until further notice, it's safe to presume that this release will likely change given that the CGI requires time to render properly. It's probably not as time-consuming as what it was with the original Jurassic Park where CG animators would spend six months animating an animal. The visual effects are more sophisticated these days, and visual effects studios have more capital and staff to be able to cope with the demand. But I'm going to speculate that the release date might likely get moved to August or September 2021, which would mark the first time that a Jurassic Park movie would have a late summer release. In these uncertain times where we have no idea of when life will resume to normal or if it will ever return to a normality we knew, it has given studios the opportunity to take the necessary time to refine the editing, as I mentioned earlier. And I think that's important. I remember this statement from a wise lady I once knew. The hurrier I go, the behinder I get. Now, on the surface, it sounds like complete gibberish. But take a moment to look into what it really means. If you rush it, you will fall behind, and it will look sloppy. Instead of taking a month to do the editing, take an extra three weeks. Really look at the details and see if it sticks, because if your gut's telling you something's wrong, chances are it is. If this pandemic has taught us anything other than that hygiene should be taken more seriously and you should be nicer to your neighbor, is that patience and reflection has become necessary. The situation is not ideal, but in times like this is where you get a chance to slow down and really think our next moves going forward, and I don't think movie making is any different. The world is going through a change, and I think studios will do the same. We've all been shifted out of our comfort zones. Sometimes that's a good thing, but I think most will agree it would have been appreciated under better circumstances. But I like to offer this perspective. It matters not the hand you're dealt in life. What matters is the hand you play against it. We've all been dealt a bad hand with this situation. The question is, what hand will we play going forward? I think it will be a good hand. I believe so. Until next time, this is MJ Knight saying good night from the night and stay safe.